Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to the witnesses for testifying today. Uh, Dr. Moyetti, um, as I understood from your testimony, you've done late-term abortions, correct? Uh, sir, that's not a medical term, but I provide abortion care, yes. Uh, even past 22 weeks at times when it's mm -hmm. allowed, right? Uh, depending on the jurisdiction in which I'm providing right. care, yes. Yeah. Uh, we had had some years back, some of y'all may remember, a, a uh, person who had provided late-term abortion. And it is interesting uh, that, yeah, in the medical field, there are terms. In the legal field, there are terms. But he described in detail, I think he said he'd done over a 1,000 uh, late-term abortions, or if you'd prefer uh, dismemberment abortions. That's and he I'm described in much greater detail, Ms. Foster, about the instrument that was used to insert into the womb. And he described how he would feel around for something linear. And the longer linear he knew was a leg, he would clamp on. And he described in detail how he would pull that leg out of socket and pull it from the body. And then how he would then find another linear object about the same length rip that off of the body, and then look for, feel around for two shorter linear items, knowing those were the two arms, rip them out from the body. And once they were removed, he said in his words, it would feel for something bulbous. And you knew that was the skull, and you would clamp onto the skull and crush it because the child's head would not come through the uterus with uh, that was um, at that point not dilated. And then it would be easier once you had crushed the skull, yanked it away from the body to then pull the body out. Um, for some of us, that is considered, and I know Dr. Moyetti used the term hateful and cruel with regard to the the Texas law, but some of us would describe that procedure of ripping arms and legs and the head off of a baby as being a bit hateful and cruel. We've also heard that uh, reference to your position uh, being somewhat hateful and cruel. Uh, Ms. Foster, do you disagree that mothers who are carrying a child that they didn't expect or did not want, deserve to be loved? Of course, absolutely. Uh, have you provided help to mothers in that condition? I have in, in a variety of ways. Um, first of all, I was myself in that position when I was 19 years old. I needed that help and love. I did not find it. So I've spent the uh, uh, years since um, trying to be that, that hope and help and love to other women and other families. Um, I served as chair of the board of a pregnancy center for a number of years. Um, I still continue to serve on that board. I have volunteered with numerous other pregnancy centers. I have sidewalk counseled. Um, I have reached out to women and families in my community and simply served as a safe space and a sounding board and a, um, and a resource so that when people found themselves in an unexpected situation, they would be able to, um, to find out more and get information about where to go. Thank you. And Dr. Moyetti, when uh, you've done abortions, um, is there another physician there, or are you the only medical doctor uh, involved in the abortion? I'm a doctor of osteopathic medicine, and depending on where I okay. provide abortion care, uh, there might be another physician in the room or not. Yeah. I was just curious because uh, when my wife's and my first daughter, she's amazing. When she was born very prematurely, uh, we had the ob -GYN, and we also had a pediatrician there whose sole goal and job was to protect the entrance of our child. 
and he did an amazing job. It required hospitalization and intubation, all, all kinds of things, but I'm so thankful we had a pediatrician there looking out for the interests of the child and an OB-GYN looking for the mother. I commend that to everyone else. I yield back. Gentleman yields back, Ms. Bass.